friends, this is DMC Aim, and this is my quick review of a coffee I received in the Dog and Hat coffee subscription box. This is Clemson and Sons Sasaba Ethiopian coffee beans. And quick look at the front of the pack there. The region is Guji Aromi Estate. The altitude is 1,800 meters above sea level. Varietal is mixed heirloom. The processing is washed and the taste notes are orange blossom, lime and butterscotch. Roasted on the 24th of June, which was not long after, um, before I received the coffee. So that is it for the pack and most of the information on the coffee is in this handy little guide that you get in the Dog and Hat subscription box. This was for July 2019. So we'll take a quick look at what information it gives us on this coffee, which is Clemson and Sons were pioneers in the, in the evolving London specialty coffee scene. Their ambition is to continue sourcing, roasting and crafting the finest coffees from the heart of East London. Their range of espresso, espressos, blends and single origin beans reflect what they do. A boundless exploration into the possibilities of flavour. Their approach to the sourcing green beans, green, green coffee is equally driven by quality and a commitment to develop sustainable and ethical relationships. They work with trusted partners at Origin to ensure producers receive fair prices and seek to develop ongoing relationships in buying from many of the same farms each year. And there is the contact information there for Clemson and Sons. And as always, I'll add links in the description below for anyone who is interested in taking a look at um, Dog and Hat. So the origin is Ethiopia Guji. This coffee comes from small holders at the Sasaba washing station in Aromi Estate in the Guji district of Ethiopia. The Sasaba washing station is located in the Aroma Estate in the Guji district. Access is a challenge, the road being too rough for land cruisers. The best options is to access by Soviet era Kamas trucks with six wheel drive to reach the washing station. The washing station is productive and well run well by Tsege, the owner of the washing station, his open minded attitude Attitude ensures there is feedback loop oops, between producer and green brokers, creating the potential for exemplary coffee and higher premiums for the farmers. The farmers that sell their cherries to Sasaba washing station are all small holders in the local surrounds. The cherries are processed on site, fermented for about 48 hours, 48 to 72 hours before they are placed on the drying beds for around seven to eight days. This coffee is grown at an altitude of 1,800 meters. And uh, information there we've had before, but the taste profile is notes of milk chocolate, toffee and marmalade. So pretty different from what it says on the pack actually, so that's a bit odd. So there we go. And as I say, all the coffees are all detailed nicely in this little handy little booklet that, that you receive in your dog and hat box. So that is all the information on the coffee. So let's take a look at the beans. Quite Some quite small and some larger sort of beans in there. This sort of part of the husk I'm still in the center of the beans but a sort of really light roasted coffee this one and the aroma from the beans is quite fantastically fruity and I'm really picking up that lime hint it's sweet and creamy with a nice earthiness there too but really very nice aroma from these um, beans and the ground coffee very light sort of orangey look to it um, when ground it becomes quite pungent with a strange kind of celery um, like bite to it with this one 
what very interesting um, coffee quite intriguing from the aroma so taste wise well I made the cup and walked out of the kitchen and when I returned to get my cup the room was filled with the butterscotch aroma mentioned on the pack there's a slight zestiness from the lime hint but nothing overwhelming in fact it's a very well balanced coffee it's biscuity too so it's got a kind of key lime pie hint about it I've had similar Ethiopian coffees in the past and one that springs to mind as it was quite recent was the co-ops Ethiopian ground coffee but this is obviously a lot better with the freshness quality and overall taste experience it's naturally sweet and I didn't need to add any sugar to this coffee which I don't often do um, there's no real acidity or maybe a tiny hint but there's no bitterness at all with this coffee I described the other coffee I received in the dog and hat subscription box as perfect for a summer's evening and this is exactly the same it's a nice light fruity coffee that's got a really nice clean finish with no lingering aftertaste and this one scores a 4.25 out of 5 a great afternoon or evening coffee and if you like a delicate and smooth coffee with complexity this may be a coffee for you so I'd really like to hear from anyone who subscribes to the dog and hat subscription box let me know what your thoughts are on the quality of the coffees as I as I mentioned before I've had this box quite a few times now and the coffees have all been quite fantastic really memorable um, coffees so let me know your thoughts in the comments section below if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you're not subscribed and you want to see more coffee reviews in the future please do so that was my quick review thanks for watching bye for now